Chapter 28 About that time the Philistines mustered their armies for another war with Israel. King Achish told David, You and your men will be expected to join me in battle. Very well, David agreed. Now you will see for yourself what we can do. Then Achish told David, I will make you my personal bodyguard for life. Meanwhile, Samuel had died, and all Israel had mourned for him. He was buried in Ramah, his hometown, and Saul had banned all mediums and psychics from the land of Israel. The Philistines set up their camp at Shunem, and Saul and the armies of Israel camped at Gilboa. When Saul saw the vast Philistine army, he became frantic with fear. He asked the Lord what he should do, but the Lord refused to answer him, either by dreams or by sacred lots or by the prophets. Saul then said to his advisors, Find a woman who is a medium, so I can go and ask her what to do. His advisors replied, There is a medium at Endor. So Saul disguised himself by wearing ordinary clothing instead of his royal robes. Then he went to the woman's home at night, accompanied by two of his men. I have to talk to a man who has died, he said. Will you call up his spirit for me? Are you trying to get me killed? The woman demanded. You know that Saul has expelled all the mediums and psychics from the land. Why are you setting a trap for me? But Saul took an oath in the name of the Lord and promised, As surely as the Lord lives, nothing bad will happen to you for doing this. Finally the woman said, Well, whose spirit do you want me to call up? Call up Samuel, Saul replied. When the woman saw Samuel, she screamed, You've deceived me! You are Saul! Don't be afraid, the king told her. What do you see? I see a god coming up out of the earth, she said. What does he look like? Saul asked. He is an old man wrapped in a robe, she replied. Saul realized that it was Samuel, and he fell to the ground before him. Why have you disturbed me by calling me back? Samuel asked. Because I am in deep trouble, Saul replied. The Philistines are at war with us, and God has left me and won't reply by prophets or dreams. So I have called for you to tell me what to do. But Samuel replied, Why ask me if the Lord has left you and has become your enemy? The Lord has done just as he said he would. He has taken the kingdom from you and given it to your rival, David. The Lord has done this because you did not obey his instructions concerning the Amalekites. What's more, the Lord will hand you and the army of Israel over to the Philistines tomorrow, and you and your sons will be here with me. The Lord will bring the entire army of Israel down in defeat. Saul fell full length on the ground, paralyzed with fright because of Samuel's words. He was also faint with hunger for he had eaten nothing all day and all night. When the woman saw how distraught he was, she said, Sir, I obeyed your command at the risk of my life. Now do what I say, and let me give you something to eat so you can regain your strength for the trip back. But Saul refused. The men who were with him also urged him to eat, so he finally yielded and got up from the ground and sat on the couch. The woman had been fattening a calf, so she hurried out and killed it. She kneaded dough and baked unleavened bread. She brought the meal to Saul and his men, and they ate it. Then they went out into the night.